Hey guys, Jacob here with the Pool Supply. Today we have Pentair's Creepy Crawly Platinum Pressure Side Pool Cleaner. We are going to dive into this box and show you what's inside, so stay tuned. All right guys, I'm back. So again, I've got the Creepy Crawly Platinum Pressure Cleaner from Pentair, which their Creepy Crawly line is their cleaner line. So. Uh, we're gonna open this thing up, show you guys what's inside. So this is a pressure cleaner. So this is not for suction cleaners, this is not for robotics, this is a pressure cleaner. So a good way to identify if you have a pressure cleaner is uh, you have a tiny little hose attached to your, your pool cleaner. Ooh, this thing's heavy. I'm gonna put this on the ground and kind of open it up from there. They did an interesting job packing this thing. They kind of wrapped everything around a box. So this might all come out at once, might all come out separately. So first things first, they give you the little bag that it comes with separately. And then, yeah, it's all coming together. This is how they packaged it. Pretty cool. Well, that's interesting. So why don't we get rid of the box? Oh, can't forget that. Can't forget your installation manual. So this guy right here is it's gonna show you how to install this thing. It's long, so make sure you read it. Uh, hopefully in the near future, we are going to have an installation video for you on how to install this thing. So uh, take a look for that in the future. So first things first, just throwing stuff everywhere. I've got a limited warranty card. Read your warranty cards. And then, there's a feed hose cutting procedure. So this is a lot like Polaris. You have to cut your hose to fit on your pool. Uh, there's a specific way to do it, so please make sure you read the cutting guide, which is actually also in the user's manual. Um, and hopefully, again, we'll have a video in the near future for you on how to cut your hoses properly. So let's figure out if we can attach or detach the hoses from the cleaner. Perfect. So as you can see here, this thing comes with hose. So you gotta cut the hoses after, obviously that's what we talked about, to a certain way. It comes with a backup valve. Um, so the backup valve actually pulls the cleaner off every once in a while, that way if it gets stuck, it kind of resets. So the thing's aggressive. I don't know why they would make it clear right here, maybe just so you guys can see water flow. Um, that's my guess comes with all the uh, floats attached to it and everything else. So, and then this is the guy that actually plugs into the side of the wall. So, I mean, pretty simple, to be honest with you. I'm gonna put the hoses off to the side so we can dive into this cleaner. That's crazy. It's clear. You can actually see the inside of the cleaner. So that's pretty neat. So a little bit different than uh, Polaris, what a lot of people are used to, uh, this cleaner actually has four wheels. This thing is a tank. I'm loving it. I think it's pretty sweet. So it works a lot, from what I'm seeing, a lot like the other guys. So they, on the bottom of it, they have thrust jets that actually inject the water down. So that way when water is injected down, it actually creates a force from the front to go down to then get caught up in the bag. So it's a Venturi style cleaner. That's how all pressure cleaners work. Uh, it's got these really nice thick rubber wheels and they seem to roll pretty nicely as well. So it's gonna cruise around your pool pretty aggressively. Um, this is clear, it's still throwing me for a loop. Um, from that, your cleaner, literally, it goes in like this. That way you can see the clear water. So you got clear, clear, right next to each other, which is pretty wild. So, cool. All right, cleaner bag. So you got this nice big cleaner bag that actually has a float in it. So it actually helps keep it upright the entire time while it's actually cleaning the bottom of your pool. Um, that way it doesn't get caught up in wheels or anything like that. It's got a nice Velcro accessible opening so that way it's easy to clean out uh, the bag periodically. 
So cleaner goes on there. This guy attaches to the actual hose and that way it stays upright like that. So pretty nice. Um, cracks me up when they put these little floats in the back here. So um, obviously they did that in my personal opinion as an afterthought because they're gonna try to actually lift up the back end of this cleaner because it probably got too heavy during manufacturing. So if your cleaner starts to do a wheelies all the time, I would imagine that this floats bad. So you probably got to replace this float. And I believe Pentair's part number for these floats are EA20. So yeah. Uh, it's got these little jets in the back. Um, I would imagine, again, just like Polaris, they're controllable. So yep, if you push them a certain way, again, read your instruction manuals. Um, one of them probably controls how much water comes out of here, as well as another one controls how fast the cleaner goes, or if it goes left or right, or however you control your cleaner so that way. Um, this cleaner is sweet. I do like it a lot. I like the fact that it's, again, I've already said this like three times, clear. I like the fact that it's, you can see inside of it and, uh, it just kind of looks very low profile, probably inside of your pool water. Um, pretty neat. So I'm impressed. So again, today we have the Platinum Pool Cleaner from Pentair. Um, solid cleaner. Highly recommend it, especially if you guys have a booster pump. Uh, I'm Jacob with the Pool Supply. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Subscribe today if you haven't subscribed. Check out the links below and we got a lot more content coming your way. Thank you.